Hello and welcome to another edition of my drawing demonstrations. I'm going to show you guys how to draw a character uh, in a variety of poses. So right now I'm drawing how the character looks standing and facing us. So you can see it has a large head, a uh, body that is kind of widens at the hips, and then I drew the crosshairs for the face. You can see the eyes are right below the halfway line. Um, and now the first pose we'll draw is a running pose. You notice I start with a gesture line that curves over. Uh, which is where I build the torso. And the arms and legs are opposite, so if the arm closest to us is back, the leg closest to us would be forward. And then I'm drawing the other leg and arm. And this is kind of something I picked up from Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, if you notice, every time Calvin is in his little wagon, he's always above ground, so I put a shadow below the legs just to emphasize the speed. Next pose is going to be quite the opposite. It's a sad walk. So we're going to have the gesture line you saw as a curve, and then legs are closer together, arms are in pockets, and then the character is going to be looking down. So you can see how the crosshairs now are pointing the face down. The eyes are sad. So very much a closed pose compared to the open run pose we just did. The next pose will be, um, this is a fun one, this is stubborn. So you can see how I arched the gesture line and built the torso on top. And then the legs. Now for crossed arms, I like to start with like an X shape. So you can see the X right there. And then I build the upper arm onto that. And then you can see the forearm hand is crossed underneath. And by the way, feel free to um, put this video at half speed if it's moving too quickly for you. I always film it uh, obviously normal and I speed it up and then do a voiceover. But if it's too quick, just turn it half speed. But you may want to turn the volume down because um, my voice will sound kind of weird. Or don't, because weird is fun. So here's a diving and flying pose. Uh, you can see the gesture line now curves up, and then I just have the arms and legs. And then, of course, the head is pointed down at an angle. And I'm drawing lines vertically down below to show the shadow if the character is diving in water. Now you notice that the water is closer to the hands and further from the feet. So you can see the character uh, about to hit, hit the water surface. So the feet are much higher, so it doesn't look like a belly flop. And then just erasing by the shoulder so it makes sure that it overlaps in front of the head. This next one is going to be uh, another action pose. This is a kick, so a karate kick. You see the gesture line. Looks like the dreaded stick figure that I'm allergic to, but I added a torso right away, so it won't make me so sick. Leg is coming out. Now, it's interesting, um, I mean, when the character has no feet or hands, you'll see later in this pose I actually add feet because it just looks weird, like he's kicking with two pegs. And then I added the, I made the hands curl over, or the arms, so it looks like little fists. But I'm not going to stop there. Um, once I add those feet here, I'm going to build clothing. And unfortunately, my big derpy thumb is in the way, so you can't really see what I'm doing. So, yeah, you'll be able to see the results. That's fine. Again, go slow motion and just see what appears after my awkward thumb moves out of the way. Get out of there, thumb. What are you doing? There's some pants, some wrinkle in the pants, and then and then a foot thrust out. I'm also going to draw a uh, victim. So I have the little, just magically appeared, that little blast mark by his foot. Uh, the victim being kicked is going to have an arching gesture line. You can see I'm actually just building the torso on the, on the top part of the line. And then legs or arms are flying back. And the legs are going to be awkwardly bent, lifting up off the ground to show um, the force of the kick. And then his other hand is over there. And I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out to my uh, sixth period, my F period sixth graders. Um, they were actually watching this film while they were supposed to be working on their projects, but they crowded around because they were curious. I don't blame them. So if you, the audio in the beginning, underneath the music, you can hear them talking. All right, so there's a guy, he's, he's like, his mouth's open, his eyes are closed, he's a, uh, poor guy is really struggling. But it looks cool. Uh, next we have a sleeping pose. So now our character can rest after all that drama and action and violence. So I drew the gesture line curved um, around the back. And then we have the arms that are gonna be tucked under the massive head. 
The good news about having a large head like that is I guess you wouldn't need a pillow because your shoulders really wouldn't touch the bed, right? You just The head would just plop onto the mattress. Uh, the legs are, the knees are bent and then that back leg is behind, it's more straightened out. And then I drew another elbow underneath his face. And then of course the face, which we have the crosshairs that are curved downward. And then the little sleepy eyes. And some Z's because you know, that represents sleeping. Next we're going to have uh, a stargazing or knocked out character. I prefer stargazing, so it's kind of fun. He's on his back, just thinking about life, being all existential and whatnot. You can see his arms straight out, or making snow angels. That's another one. You could be making snow angels. There's a leg. You notice the leg is coming towards us. That's called foreshortening. The bottom of the leg is larger than where it comes out of the torso, and that's because it's coming closer to us. And it also looks shorter uh, because it is coming towards us. So you can see the head there, happy face and um, it's pointed upwards. And then the last pose I'll show you guys uh, will be a superhero pose. It's going to be a smaller one because of lack of space. Gesture line is a just a sweeping line that goes to the right. There's the torso and then I'm going to build the legs onto the bottom of the torso and these legs are foreshortening away from us. Especially that um, his left leg, the character's left leg or our right. And then the arm is bent and then the fist is raised above the head in a very outstretched manner and then we have the head upwards and positive he's really happy to be a superhero and so that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson and I uh, look forward to more I'm actually gonna start posting a lot more these days I promise so follow me on uh, Instagram at John Cinema you can see my daily artwork thank you Oh